Well, I have made a mistake here on this thing. And uh, at least one viewer picked up on it. And uh, I, I did notice it yesterday. I didn't, I didn't talk about it. I was sort of hoping that nobody would notice. Oh, and by the way, the view we're getting this morning is, you might say, looking out the back window. Yeah, it's uh, looking out my back bedroom window. And if you were looking out right now, at this moment, this is exactly what you would be seeing. Now, I have no idea <laughs> what's going on back there. So I don't know. It's not like when I'm looking out the front window and I can say, oh, look, there's the lady picking dandelions. Now, speaking of the dandelion lady, I did see her out there this morning. I went out and I asked her uh, what she used the dandelions for. And and she was saying that uh, she, she doesn't use them for anything. But then we started talking about all the different things that they could be used for, you know, like salad or wine or tea or... And she says, uh, I heard that you can also put it in your dog food. Now, that's interesting. <laughs> My neighbors all around me have dogs. I don't have a dog. Uh, I love dogs, but I don't have a dog. Anyway, let's see if we can get going here and we'll talk about the mistake I made. Now, before we get going and we actually start talking about the mistake I made, um, you know how I like to be honest in my videos. Well, I got a little bit of a confession I've got to make here. You know that scene that, we, that we're looking at now at the backyard? Yeah, it's got birds tweeting in it and it sounded not too bad. Uh, but I had to amplify the birds so much that the uh, freeway that's running on the other side of that berm that you're seeing was making so much noise you couldn't really, you know, hear the birds. And then I remembered uh, way back about, uh, well, actually, I, I looked it up, and it was on Saturday, August the 16th of 2014, I had recorded some birds in the back lane behind my mother's apartment block in Kelowna which is uh, <laughs> uh, about 2,000 kilometers by road from Winnipeg. And, uh, yeah, and I thought, yeah, I remember those, that, that recording that I made sounded pretty good. So i gotta con I got to confess here. Uh, the birds you're listening to right now, they were recorded way back in uh, 2014, <laughs> 2,000 kilometers away. Uh, I was feeling really guilty, you know, and it just... I don't know, if I hadn't have told you, you wouldn't have known. Okay, now let's talk about the mistake. Now, if you will recall two, three weeks ago when we bent these into shape, I had thought I had bent them the wrong way around. And then I just folded them the other way. What I failed to do was change the treads or the steps for the, for the uh, for the ladder, and you'll notice that the steps are going out, and they should go in. Well, I'm I'm afraid that if I try to change that back now, I'm going to end up breaking them off. Uh, that's probably why this little uh, rail that we have right here is, is uh, broke off. It, it just got bent around too many times and then when I was working with it yesterday just even the slight slight bending uh, as I had mentioned metal fatigue took over and it, it just well broke off. Now the the steps on, on this piece right here are also wrong but they're just gonna have to stay wrong. This one seems to be coming off a lot better. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Now, we're going to put this one in, in place much the same way as the other one. Now, I think probably what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and, and do it and get it done. You can see how it's supposed to go. And then I think after we get this one in place, then we're going to be able to take and fasten this this rail in place at least at least that's the hope now I like I mentioned we spent what 15 minutes at least uh, people were holding their breaths yesterday 
and, he, and I mentioned to one of the viewers that I was turning blue myself here. Um, okay, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and try and glue this into place, and then we'll look at, look at it after we get it done. Um, and, and then, like I say, I think we can probably uh, maybe get this, this rail in place. There's, there's enough stuff to glue onto there. And, and then if I don't stick my big finger down in there and, and mash it all out of shape when I'm picking this up, you know, I keep reminding myself that I have to look at this. I have to look, where's my thumb going and where's this finger going uh, every time I go to pick it up because there are just so many fragile places now. Okay, very gently now, get rid of this. Now you can probably notice that I've got a bit of a CA smeared around on the deck there. I'm hoping I can paint over that. Now. Nope, not like that. That noise that you hear running in the background, that's my microwave. I'm going to be having cabbage and celery casserole. Now I would i got to think now, how, how would be the best way to do this? Now for you camera buffs that might be wondering just how close do I have these two cameras synced up? Well, they're running at 30 frames per second and at exactly the same clock speed. So the synchronization is within a 30th of a second. You know, you gotta have the patience of Job. I wonder if Job really did have patience. Uh, I guess the way this thing is designed here, maybe I'm just grabbing it in the wrong place. Just grab it a little bit. Maybe on more of a flat side here. I know you can't see what I'm trying to do, but okay, now maybe I'll have better control this way. Well, except that my tweezers in the road. How would it be if I put the tweezer like this? If it wants to go that way every all the time, then maybe that's the way to do it. Come in like this. No, the tweezers still in the way. Maybe twisted around 180 degrees oh I heard it beeping my cabbage and celery casserole is is ready okay well we'll get it yet well oh, maybe not Okay, I'm probably going to be in your way now. Oh, you know what? I bent the step. i got to straighten that. Maybe. 
maybe the uh, older dimer would work better. Once again, Steve in the model shed, I take my hat off to you. All this photo etch that you've done. Now I better give credit where credit is due here because there's another viewer who has been doing a lot of photo etch really well. And that's our friend Peter in Australia. And he's been doing it at the scale of 700 to 1. Oh, I bent it again. You know what? I'm going to end up breaking that thing off yet. I can tell by the way it bent there that it's just about ready to come off. Okay, I've got to come up with another plan here. Lots of fun. Okay, after all that stress, I need comfort food here. It doesn't look as appetizing as pizza, that's for sure. Okay, just in case somebody's wondering here, I, I did the math on this. I know that there's 617 grams of cabbage before I cooked it, 422 grams of celery, and I know how many calories there is per gram, so I worked it out. There's 155 calories of cabbage and 59 of celery. And it comes to 214. Now, the pizza that I had yesterday was 206. Uh, and it tasted a lot better. Now, when I sat down just now to do this, I thought there's three things i got to remember to tell the viewers. Okay, first of all, I don't have time to do the two camera thing anymore today. All the editing that, uh, all, the, all the stuff that you just saw, I just spent quite a bit of time in the, at the computer editing it out. And uh, because I was doing so many special effects and fooling around, my program crashed twice on me. I thought, oh. Okay, so that took up a little bit of time here now. Okay, the second thing was I've cleaned the ends of my tweezers off with acetone. I thought that there was stuff on the on the tweezer, like maybe old CA glue or something, and and it was uh, sticking. The part was sticking. No, I'm, I'm just rearranging this. I realize you can't see me doing it because I don't have the other camera going. All right. Now, my, my third thing is, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe put a little bit of, of CA on, on this post. This one right here. I put a little bit of CA right there. And then bring this up against it and just let it sort of sit there. If I can get it at the at the right angle and I, and, and I realize I'm scratching the oh it pinged off on me but at least I saw where it went okay okay so if I was to get it at just the right angle and then let go when when I've got it like this well sort of like that at least, at least that's the plan but that's gonna have to be later one of my neighbors is coming over in a, in a few minutes, 
actually about an hour from now and he's gonna have coffee with me so I gotta I gotta wind this video up again uh, yeah I'm the he is the one person allowed in my house during this COVID lockdown uh, I bent it again I can't believe I'm doing this I'm gonna break this off why is this happening maybe I shouldn't be talking maybe that's the problem you know what? Thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. And if I work on this this evening, <laughs> I'll video how it goes.